ChatGPT versus Claude AI, which one of them can create the better Minecraft add-on from scratch? The rules are simple. We've got 45 minutes on the clock. Start the timer and let's start with ChatGPT. A lot of you guys have been telling me my prompts aren't that great. So I've gone ahead and I made myself a nice little template that will hopefully give us a better output. So create me a Minecraft behavior pack that will add superheroes slash superpowers that can be obtained in the game. We've got thinking turned on. I'll do an extended since ChatGPT seems to do well with it and we'll see what it can cook up. Now ChatGPT is my boy because it absolutely cooked Gemini and I just barely beat Grok in the last video. It's on a hot winning streak. So we'll see if Claude can destroy it. You guys have been talking Claude up big time, but you guys said the same thing about Grok. So we'll see. Wow, that thought for a long time over 10 minutes, <laughs> but just gave me a download link. Well, that's better than I've ever gotten before, but let's see what we're actually looking with here. Simple hero classes system, speedster, titan, and telekinetic. Those sound pretty cool. And to obtain it, you craft a hero core and a power gauntlet and one of the serums. So there's a lot to get to one. And the serum will determine which hero ability you get. This actually sounds really cool if it works. Did it actually just do everything for me? Usually ChatGPT will spit out some code and then I can just look at it. But this made the whole add-on for me. I wanna look at the code a little bit because I'm curious what it did. So it's added five new items and they seem pretty normal for the most part. Whoa, <laughs> over 300 lines of code. Dude, ChatGPT is not messing around today. I'm just gonna open up Minecraft and see if it works. It even made a custom pack icon, which is kind of cool, but it's pretty basic. And it even made custom textures for all of these. It fought for over 10 minutes, but definitely worth it. The first big test ChatGPT is gonna have to pass is whether or not we can even import this pack. No way! It worked first try. I was kind of dogging on it with these pack icons, but it's pretty clean. I'll give it that. Okay, whoa. That's a lot of errors. It threw tons of errors. I'm gonna try and craft a couple of these, but I never even learned what their recipes were. Oh, I see the items though. And the textures loaded. That's, ooh. Okay, so first things first is the hero core. And then I needed, what was it? A power gauntlet and one of the serums. Power gauntlet, craft one of those. I feel like Speedster has the best odds of working. I need another hero core, speed serum. Okay, so I drink a serum. Oh, it did work. And then I hold this. I think it made it sound like this was supposed to do something which it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, it was kind of expected with all those errors, but I'm gonna feed it all the errors and we'll see if it spits something out that works. How much time are we at? Just over 20 minutes remaining. There's a lot of errors it's still gotta fix. But I mean, the fact that it's got a working pack, like the textures and the crafting recipes work well, I'm hopeful about this. <laughs> okay, wow. It thought for 13 minutes. We've got just over six minutes left. I am downloading this, we can test it. I gotta rush if I want this to have a shot at working. I think I saw one error. Let me double check. I think it just says it loaded. That sounds like it might've worked. It gave me a checklist to test it quickly. Okay, these are our three power-ups. I'm gonna say Speedster sounds easiest. Ooh, okay. I got some particles and it looks like it gave me speed infinitely. That's a super basic superpower, but it did something. Oh, and when I click with the gauntlet, I get a little boost. I like that. Oh, cool down. <laughs> Luckily there was some water there. When I right click with it, it looks like it gives me a little dash. Oh, that's cool. And I think it might've given me faster speed for a second. Also check this out. I noticed this out of my corner of my eye. It gives you some particles. That's a nice little touch. Ooh, look at that. It has durability. It looks like the, the, the names aren't working right. It's not quite. Let's see what this other one does. Titan Serum. Your bones feel like stone. Titan power is unlocked. And it gave me resistance. And when I use my gauntlet, yeah, there's a lot of errors. Okay, copy the clipboard and we'll give it all that. And then the last one to test is the telekinetic. The air hums around you, telekinetic powers are unlocked. It cooked with those little particles. Oh, and I get slow falling. All right, so everybody gets their own like lingering effect, but then they also get their power when they use the gauntlet. So let's see. No target in sight, what am I meant to do? It kind of pulled it, that's cool. And then if we hold shift, we should be able to push this guy off the cliff maybe. 
Oh, it's super weak, but it does work. Oh, it's on cooldown. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, dude, we just cooked that sheep. Okay, the timer just went off, so I'm gonna send it that final prompt. If it can fix that, we'll take a look at the Titan ability. So like the actual code that just pulls it or pushes it isn't too complex, but it added these little details like particles at the target. And if there's a crowd of animals, it'll give it slowness. There's no way that Claude is beating this. This is insane from ChatGPT. It's given the final pack. It's like the third video and I still get so excited every time ChatGPT actually makes something that works. Okay, no errors. And if we use our ability, oh, that's tragic. But I mean, two out of three working abilities is still pretty cool. The telekinetic, it's a simple one, but it got lots of attention to detail with the particles and having the ability to push or pull. ChatGPT stuff is pretty simple, I'll admit it, but I think it's impressive nevertheless, especially the fact that it just spit out an add-on ready to download. It's probably one of ChatGPT's worst add-ons it's created, but all that being said, it's still super impressive and pretty fun, I gotta admit. So ChatGPT gets like, Mmm, 6.5 out of 10. It's always these dash abilities that ChatGPT cooks up with. I think they're so fun despite them being so unbelievably simple. Let's see what Claude can cook up. Now for Claude, I'm gonna give it the exact same prompt. I'm on the free version, but if it starts to struggle, I might have to buy the upgrade. We'll give it the extended thinking. We'll see what it can spit out. I'm not sure I like Claude's animations. These are kind of weird. All right, timer's going. Oh, what? It just codes right here on the right side. Wow, that was fast. It's adding six superpowers, power gems to obtain them, and no deprecated features. I guess that's nice. This might be the most complex file structure I've seen any of the AIs try to create. I hope Claude's cooking. This is sounding promising so far. Dude, no way. Did it try and put an emoji? No, there's no way Minecraft supports emojis. This is getting kicked out immediately. Performance targets? Warning signs? Dude, it's using Git? Claude is doing too much. All right, here's what it included. So it's kind of based off of DC superheroes, like the Flash. Superman's flight, just super strength, I guess. Fire immunity, and you can shoot a fireball. I've got my doubts, but we'll see. Cryokinesis? Cryokinesis, maybe? And teleportation, sounds simple enough. Step one, I gotta set up these files. It's making me do it myself. It wants us to create this utils folder. I think it's supposed to be for these custom UIs. It wants me to code these final gems on my own. All right, it hasn't done any kind of resource pack, but I'm gonna just see if the actual functionality works because it's already used half its time just for that. Okay, I see the pack. Oh, wow. Lots of errors, I think. There's pages of errors, but let's see if we can get anything. So all the gem items do show up. Of course, none of them have any textures. I think if it can get anything right, it's gonna be the speed gem. Oh, and it actually, it gave it a custom font? And <laughs> there's an emoji, dude. I did not think the emojis were gonna come in. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. All right, we'll see if any of these other ones do. Also doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna feed all of these errors to ChatGPT. I implemented all the files, and when I went to test it, I got all these errors please fix. We're sitting with 17 minutes on the clock. I think that's enough time we can get something working. Okay, so it was using an API that doesn't exist. Not a great start. Okay, nice. So it looks like we just need to fix like seven files. Dude, I'm hoping, I'm praying for Claude. It looks like it's trying hard. I just don't know if it's got what it takes. Okay, the timer is going off right now. So whatever it makes after this, this is Claude's final version. Hopefully something works. Uh, it says, I see the issue. This doesn't exist in the script API. I used a non-existing event. Don't do that. <laughs> and I just ran out of Claude. So hopefully this is it. <gasps> okay, that's new. We got some new messages there. Sneak plus jump to open power menu. Sneak plus jump. <gasps> Whoa, dude, wait, that's a whole menu? That's awesome. Oh, I think that means it's working then. Okay, wait, flash give at s, what are they called? Gems? I'm gonna try the speed first. Oh, what does it do? Super speed, move at incredible speeds. What is this? Oh, this is not fun. It's giving me speed two with zero duration, which is really annoying. <laughs> Deactivate, okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, fire gem. I obtained the firepower. Oh wait, oh, it's got particles coming out of me and I have 
Fire resistance, zero. Can I burn people if I walk by them? Hold on, what is this meant to do? Sneak plus use item to shoot fireballs. Whoa, wait. Okay, well, it makes a sound. Fireball launched. Does it do anything? What is this supposed to be? <laughs> okay, it's, I guess, trying to spawn a fireball, which I don't think it is a thing. Or is it just this particle? Is that particle it? I don't think this is what it's meant to do, but I don't know. Okay, I had ChatGPT make us a resource pack. So hopefully this works and it looks pretty nice. Okay, before I show you the final cloud one with the textures, you gotta hit that hide button because I know you haven't done it yet. Oh, dude, these look clean. <laughs> okay, those textures are pretty sick. Let's see the ice gem. So we activate that. We can open our power menu and cryokinesis. I hear a sound. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. I like the sound effect. It's kind of just like a worse frost walker, but it's kind of cool. It's a little bit buggy. It doesn't work every time. But when it does work, I mean, that was pretty sick, right? Also, these particles get a little annoying quick. Next up, flight gem. And then if we activate the flight gem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would I want that ability? I just can't jump normally anymore. It shoots me into the air every time. The sound effect was nice, I guess. I'm going to give it one more shot. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Flight and maybe we shift. Why would anybody want that? All right, next one up is Strength Gem. Activate the Strength Gem. Oh, okay, that was cool. So just with our fist. Oh, wait, that's actually pretty sick. <laughs> I like that. Like if we pair it with Pyrokinesis. Oh, I guess you can only have one on at the same time. But still, that's pretty cool. The sound effect makes it feel really strong. Final one is the teleport gem. I'll activate that and then we will turn on teleportation. Oh, bunch of errors. Oh, no way, it worked. So like if we do it, yeah, there's that cooldown. And it tells you how long is remaining too. That's kind of neat. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with what Claude put together. It had a lot of errors, but it was able to troubleshoot everything. And in the end, we got a working pack and it has a custom menu with all these different abilities. Some of them aren't great, like the speed and the flight is absolute dog water. Honestly, I'm not really sure who to give the win to this video. I think Claude had the cooler idea with all these unique gems and a custom menu. It's, its execution was pretty bad with like speed, flight, the fire. Like this is really hard to play with. It's kind of hard to say though, because ChatGPT had this Titan one, which didn't work like we got all these errors i'm slightly inclined to go with chat just because it achieved a pretty similar result and it only took about 30 minutes where i gave claude like an hour but honestly i think there's an argument to be made for either of them so you can vote in the comments who you think really won the video i'll honor whatever you guys decide on